It's your boy Keiko. Today I just wanted to make a super quick video on my 1995 Integra Special Edition that I picked up. Um, at this point it was about two months ago. Go ahead and show you guys. So here she is. Nice white color. And uh, as you can see this thing is super mint. Pretty stock exterior. And the um, car is just, overall the car is in just very good exterior condition, uh, especially for the age. And um, this is one of the reasons why I ended up pulling the trigger on this one when I went to look at it, is just because of how, how, good, the, uh, how good the exterior was. So, um... I actually ended up picking this car up for $6,500. Uh, a guy had it posted, I think, for $8K, and we ended up making a deal at $65. Me and my brother drove about, I would say, probably about two hours to go get it. And, uh, yeah, no, I've been daily driving this thing for about, I would say, probably about two and a half months now. Hasn't given me pretty much any issues whatsoever. There's been a little few things that I'll show you guys, but overall, I mean, I am super happy with my first honda purchase so i really wasn't specifically in the market for one of these cars but i was looking for a daily driver um something that was better on gas just with these recent gas prices being so high so i don't have to drive that thing every day which yes i still have this car and still working on it there's a few interesting things going on with that which i'm sure you guys will either see in other videos or uh, i'll update you guys on eventually but this is my daily driver as of right now. So just, uh, anyways, going into the interior. Um, again, I mean, you're obviously going to have your, your wear here on the seat. But um, other than that, I mean, the interior condition is just about as good as the exterior. Zoom out for you guys. As you can see there, I mean, really well kept. There's a few little little things wrong with it, but... <clears throat> I mean, this was another really good reason why I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up specifically, just because of how how great the in the interior was. And um, we'll get into a few of the extra goodies that came with this car and kind of some of the reasons why this thing is actually such a ridiculous deal. But um, going ahead and hopping in, give you guys a look at the miles here. So as you can see there, 53,000 miles. And um, that is actually not the accurate miles. So that's a GSR cluster. This is just a uh, special edition. So, so this came out of a GSR. The previous owner replaced it with a lower mileage one. But the, the true mileage is 160K. So it's still not terrible, but not quite 53,000. But um, going over here, see it's got a aftermarket radio which actually does work really well bluetooth syncs up pretty good all the um little cup holders and all the little extra drawers and stuff all that's pretty good the ac works good um i ended up picking this up off of rock auto for about 30 bucks i think throwing that in here just so that the dash doesn't get any cracks on it because we're out here in florida and it's very hot so didn't want to risk the dash um getting any damage on it which it's in pretty good condition so threw that on there while I own it so nothing nothing else happens to it but I mean yeah sunroof works um, passenger seats in flawless condition I mean for how old the car is I mean that's really good and then um, door cards are actually different for whatever reason I don't know why he was swapping them around but so one thing that definitely adds to the value of this car is the fact that it is the five speed. So had to have that, wasn't gonna get an automatic, but 
I actually swapped out the shifter for like an OEM style shifter and then I want to say this is a genuine ITR boot but they do make replicas that look very similar to it so I don't really know I think I'm just gonna leave it in and then as well as this armrest here um, they make replicas of those two so I'm not sure if that's genuine or not either way I'm not really too worried about swapping it out for an OEM one but bringing it to the back seats these are actually uh, JDM type R suede back seats so that was an addition that he mentioned was in here and he he didn't take them out so yeah he just sold the car with these in and if you guys look online right about now in 2022 these are going for anywhere from $400 to like $700 for a really nice pair so these are legitimate like f from Japan type R Integra seats so um, and we'll be going over a few other parts that I got um, with this deal that's actually on the car so I think that does it for the interior and I'll go ahead and pop the hood for you guys Show you guys what's under the hood So this is a uh, yet another reason why I ended up picking up this car is just because of how clean the engine bay was and just completely untouched no modifications other than of course the red valve cover but that wasn't a big deal to me everything else is all the wiring and everything is not touched so i thought that was really cool to see on such an old car um especially on these hondas where everyone has to do something to them to modify them make them their own this thing just kept impressing me and my brother every time we would find something else on it we would just be shocked on how clean it was so as you guys can see i'm sure you'll agree with me uh this thing is just super mint. One other cool thing that came with the car was this uh, genuine ITR front strut tower brace. And this, this was already on the car when I bought it. That's just another piece that goes for like, I think this one wants to go for about $300 on eBay. Um, but that is not the last part that was on this car. Still got more to show you guys, but it was just like, basically the cherry on top you're just gonna give me free ITR parts I will definitely take them so so from here I'll go ahead and show you guys the trunk so this is actually added on I don't think this came with the special edition cars at least in 1995 pretty sure this is a GSR or ITR look-alike wing that the previous owner had put on and kind of paint matched but um, I was thinking about taking it off but a few of my friends actually I think they convinced me to leave it on just because it kind of makes the car and makes it definitely more sporty looking and it doesn't look like it's not OEM so there's that and then I'll show you guys inside the trunk Again, everything's complete. There's the top of the ITR seats there and still really, really good condition, which is rare to find that. Um, usually they're sun faded, but I have been putting over like a towel over them just so no damage happens to those. Like I said, we're out in the hot sun in Florida, but got the cargo cover here. It lifts up and down and you lift that up and you see the, um, the rear strut brace and, uh, the holes that you cut into the the caps there and that piece alone like I said I mean that one's gonna be going for two hundred three hundred dollars on eBay as well so that was really cool to see and in my mind another reason why it's such a good deal you know so coming back here as you can see super clean nothing crazy all the plastic still in here and then you come down here and you notice the rear trunk brace as well so this guy really wanted his car to be braced with the the oem type r parts and sure enough he bought them and installed them so this is a genuine type r part as well it's in a little bit rough condition but still um if you pair this with this bar and the front bar um i mean i've seen them go for around 700 dollars. so i thought that was really cool to see that in here as well but uh yeah that's that's about all in the trunk the trunk struts are pretty good and then the only bad thing about the uh the trunk is that i actually have to like pretty much slam it to get it to get it to close but that's not too big a deal and something that i could easily fix but but yeah guys there's your uh kind of in-depth tour around the car uh one other thing 
the guy did give me some LS mesh wheels uh, instead of these GSR wheels and I just wasn't a huge fan of those they had like a custom paint job it was it was cool or whatever but he gave me these uh, GSR wheels so like the first thing me and my brother did was uh, as soon as we got it home we swapped out the wheels on them and it's got decent tires on them oh hi kitty this is the uh, stray cat that we've been taking care of she's super sweet but um but no, yeah, no, that's one thing that I just swapped out those wheels and then I actually sold the LS wheels on a uh, forum and a guy picked them up for like 350 bucks. So I've been saying I got this car for 6150 um, because the guy picked them up for 350 So I kind of, anything I'm selling off this car, I'm taking off from the original price. Um, that's just how I think about it. But, but yeah, no, I'm super happy with this thing. Um, if you guys want to drop some comments, let me know what you think about it. Um, I just kind of want to kind of show you guys that, uh, if you look hard enough, you know, you can still find super, super solid deals out there. Even, even though the market's super crazy right now. Uh, I mean, this is really at the height of the used car market when I bought this thing. And I, I still think I got a really good deal on it. Really. I don't see myself keeping this car for too crazy long. Um, because I will be moving to Georgia here soon. So, and I have three cars, so I'm going to have to get rid of you know at least one of them and as cool as this thing is i don't think i'm going to keep it super long term um it isn't a vtec motor so it is just the base model uh like b series i guess the goal here is going to be to take off all the parts and kind of sell them to make as much profit as i can from it and then i'm going to try to sell it for a profit as well and maybe maybe get my use out of it and then uh make some money in a flip kind of deal so uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think about the car. Do be looking forward to other YouTube videos that I do have coming out. I just have been super busy with life and not very motivated to edit the videos I do have saved, so I'm, I apologize about that. But I promise I do have a bunch of ideas and a bunch of videos filmed that will be coming to the channel. So if you guys are sticking around for that, you should see those coming out uh, relatively soon. But but anyways, I'm kind of rambling on at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video of the, the tour of my Integra. And um, like I said, comment, like, do whatever you want to do, subscribe. I'm a pretty small YouTuber so far, so if you guys want to help me out in that department, that'd be awesome. But um, otherwise, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And uh, good luck in all y'all's further car adventures. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.